Survival games are a genre that took the world by storm, spanning from MMOs with high player servers to single player games with a heavy emphasis on realism or even exploration. Here are five of the most unique survival games ever made. First on the list is Subnautica. Subnautica and its sequel Below Zero are first person survival and exploration games where you find yourself on an alien planet. Specifically in the first game, you crash land and you need to make an underwater base and submarines to travel because the game takes place almost entirely underwater. What really adds character to Subnautica are the advanced human tech and interesting lore files you find throughout the world, but also the deep alien tech of the planet's forerunner alien life forms that left behind, as well as incredibly beautiful and terrifying sea creatures. Just look up a compilation of YouTubers encountering the Reaper Leviathan for the first time. Subnautica is on pretty much all platforms. You've got your PlayStations, your Xboxes, PC, as well as Nintendo Switch. Up for the second spot, we have Green Hell. Full disclosure on this one, I have not played Green Hell personally, but I feel its attention to detail and honoring of realism earns a spot on this list. While I haven't played the game yet, plenty of videos make it very apparent that you're playing as a survivor in the Amazon rainforest, and there are plenty of threats to you as the player, such as local flora and fauna, that can have adverse effects to your character's physical and mental health. The physical health would be pretty self-explanatory, but having to treat individual injuries that are represented on your player character is just so cool. For instance, looking at your arm to treat like a cut directly and individually, and that's just really cool to me. Not to mention the whole mental health thing that I kind of alluded to. You start hallucinating things like local tribesmen as soon as your mental health takes a heavy dive. And this realism paired with really strong visuals definitely sets Green Hell apart from many other survival games. Green Hell is also on almost every platform as well. Third on the list, we have Valheim. Releasing to record numbers on Steam, this game is a pretty big deal. Playing as honored warriors living in the lands beyond in Norse mythology, you are given the task to kill five bosses. More will be added to the game later as it is technically still an early access title, but the premise is pretty simple. But as the game is randomly generated and these bosses are each located in a biome-based difficulty progression loop, it can take some time to achieve. The player shouldn't really mind though because the game is beautiful and for the first game on this list and the only game on this list, Valheim does not require you to eat or drink to survive necessarily. You won't die if you don't do these things, but they do provide buffs that all Norse warriors will need. But another reason why the player doesn't need to mind and take their time is this game is beautiful. Valheim's biggest asset is its strong visual style. Low poly models allow for tiny file sizes, but the deep colors and almost pixelated looking 3D elements really make the game feel special. The simplest moments in this game can really be so dramatic due to the coloring and the lighting and the fog effects. This visual masterpiece is currently only on PC, but I expect upon full release it'll probably head to consoles in one form or another. Up at number 4 we've got The Forest. I had to put this one on the list because a lot like Subnautica, this game really phoned in a lot of the survival genre. While the forest has a lot of things going for it, like in-depth crafting and building mechanics, as well as some damn good co-op, I believe the best part of the forest is actually the horror of it. The main story of the forest is simple, hunt down your son who has seemingly been taken by a tribe of cannibalistic islanders, but as your days progress in-game and your search continues, you'll see all kinds of horrific creatures above ground and below ground in a sprawling underground cave system all over the island. Collectibles and story gear make it worthwhile going through these cave systems, but things like Mutant Baby still make me want to stay out personally. No spoilers, but the game story does get pretty crazy towards the end, so definitely worth playing before Sons of the Forest comes out potentially later this year. The Forest is on PC and PlayStation. Finally, we have a huge game to round out the top of the list, Ark Survival Evolved. Ark released to a lot of positive and negative feedback. However, after getting past the technical errors, you'll find that really fun sandbox game where you play as a survivor on a mysterious island. Leveling up will provide new blueprints for base building, weapons, and saddles to ride the game's defining trait, dinosaurs. You can tame and ride a myriad of prehistoric creatures in Ark Survival Evolved. The game is incredibly deep and commits to allowing you to even breed the dinos you have to make the strongest genetic pedigrees. This level of micromanaging of freaking dinosaurs has me really excited for Ark 2, even if it is going to be all about family this time. Ark is definitely the most MMO game on this list. You can join high player capacity servers where you can PvP or just survive together fighting off giant dinosaurs like the Tyrannosaurus Rex as long, or the Giganotosaurus or however you pronounce that. I'm not even entirely sure. But either way, you can definitely have some very epic and crazy moments in this game. And another thing is this game looks really good. When this game first launched, I remember this was the game that made me want to build a PC, a good PC. Technical issues at the time held it back, but after some optimizations and things like that, 
This game doesn't run very bad at all, especially on modern hardware, and it looks really good doing it. Ark is on Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, and PC, but please don't play this game anywhere without a mouse and keyboard. So there you have it guys, there's five unique survival games with gimmicks that set them apart from an overpopulated genre, and if you like this video, let me know and I'll try to make a follow-up to it. Thank you so much for watching, uh, I'm Falling Hurts, uh, subscribe if you like this video, yeah, bye.